Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes at your local cinema? Well, we certainly have, and we had the opportunity to find out for ourselves when the CEO of TGV Cinemas gave us an exclusive tour of the projection rooms at TGV Sunway Pyramid. Let me show you how uh, film has been projected for the last 120 years. So, as the word implies, it's film. So that's physical film medium, that's a 35mm print. Uh, today we've got just a trailer here. We don't get too many 35mm um, uh, films anymore, so I've just got a trailer to show you. And this is how it's always been projected for the last 20 years. So, a film, a light source behind it, and it projects onto a big screen. Okay? Okay, so when the film comes through here, right, the light source in here will shine through the film and project it up onto the screen. If you come here and have a look at the uh, light source, so that's, that's what it looks like in a, a 35mm projector. So that's just a big light bulb in there and it'll shine through there, shine through the film itself uh, onto the lenses and it projects up onto the screen. And what we have here is a, an automation console. So this console controls what is happening in the cinema itself. Um, it'll read certain uh, prompts on the film itself, which tells um, the, the, the technology to close the masking, open the masking, turn down the lights, or turn on the lights when the credits come on, um, uh, increase the sound, uh, or lower the volume, depending on what, what is showing. Sometimes you'll show a, a trailer, which demands a lower volume, but then when the full feature film comes on, it'll, uh, this thing will tell it to amplify the sound up. Okay, so now he's putting it through the gate. So the gate is where the uh, light source projects the film. So every frame moves through there. This moves through at 24 frames per second. Right, so each one of those frames, right? That's one frame. So it'll move through 24 frames, which is roughly about that much per second. Okay, so the film comes here, that's where it's projected, through that gate there. The light source is coming through here and pushing it out through there. And then the film comes down here and you can see that red light. That's the digital sound reader. So that is picking up, picking up this sound code there, right? Which then gets taken into a sound processor and then convert it into a digital signal and convert it into sound which is then amplified and put out in, onto the speakers. So this is a what we call a DCP. It's, it's basically a hard drive. The DCP is actually a, the, uh, the digital cinema package. So it's the software that resides on these types of hard drives. This hard drive was actually developed by the US military. So it's just a USB uh, cable. It's just like a computer. Um, it ingests the uh, data onto the server. And that's it. So the digital projector, as I said, consists of the server and the projection itself, the projector itself. So the projector remains similar to what you saw before. It's a light source which puts the image up onto the screen. This particular screen is what we call a Z screen. 3D, yeah. So what it does, what it does, when you see 3D, your left eye and your right eye are seeing different images. So this screen polarizes the light going through there uh, and, 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 and lets you, allows you to see different images from your right eye and your left eye, therefore uh, combining together when you look through a, a 3D glasses into a 3D image. Okay? So the software that actually drives the 3D uh, film is slightly different to the software that's driving a 2D film. The sound files are sent through to this processor here. Right? Um, we're using the Dolby CP750 which is um, what we call an eight channel sound processor. So it, it, it distributes sound out th through eight different channels into the cinema itself. In the future, you'll see um, advancements in sound technology, which will take it up to 64 channels of sound, which will then have more speakers on the side, more speakers at the screen end, and also speakers up in the ceiling. So you'll get an array effect, which allows the sound to be put in specific places in, uh, in a cinema. So IMAX, as we see it today, consists of what we call a double, double stacked projection system. So it's two projectors projecting um, the same image overlapping each other. So why they do that is to enhance the brightness, um, the, the color contrast, 
and the, uh, and the color saturation. So um, in the future, IMAX will probably move to a one projector system with a laser light source. Right? But right now, this is the best technology that we can get. So what you see in an IMAX screen is different to what you'll see on a normal digital screen. Right? Um, particularly on a big screen, it's much more enveloping, much more um, uh, kind of like a much more action-packed um, format to watch a film. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. And, uh, it was a great tour. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Thank and you. enjoy the show.